Welcome to the QuickCheck portfolio software, which is developed in cooperation between the Bearing Point Company and students from TU Berlin. Here you can see the login page, where you can insert your email address and a password to log into the software. This is the overview about the different projects. Here you can open existing projects or add new projects. But first, we will open an existing one. This is a managed project overview, where you can add members to the existing projects or add product areas to projects. You can also change roles of different members. This is product overview. Here you can have an overview about your different financial products of your project and you can also add variants to existing products. Uh, from this screen on you can start the economical or the complexity evaluation which is the core of the software. But for now on we start with the economical evaluation. This is economic rating page, where you can have your economic impact uh, factors, where you have your economic impact factors, which get answered by the consultant. But for now, we are going back to the product overview, where you can start your complexity evaluation. Here you can see the different questions regarding the complexity of a product. The answers get inserted by the user or the consultant. Back on the product overview, you can see that the progress bar has changed. Now, when you click on evaluation, you can see an overview of the answers and where a rating was conducted. And now we are going to the core of the software which is the results diagram calculated from the inserted data from complexity and economical evaluation for each product. When you scroll down, you can also see a legend for the graphs and you can see the sources where your information comes from. The software architecture is as follows. The user is interacting with the UI. The UI sends data via REST AP to the backend. The backend is connected with our MySQL database. And the program is also fully containerized with Docker. On this side, we see, as we see the requirements. We have functional and non-functional requirements. First, the functional requirements. These requirements were given from our business partner, Bearing Point. The functional ones are, we have to make sure that structured data entry about financial product portfolios is possible. We also want to calculate metrics using this data. We want to visualize the data and the metrics using appropriate graphs or even visualizations. We want to compare the current data with the reference data. It's like something like benchmarking, but um, Bearing Point deprioritized this feature because um, it was really hard to, to get data from financial markets and yeah, other things like stability and quality was, was more important. 
This brings us to the non-functional requirements. We need a client and a, ser a client server architecture. We have a web user interface which is using a web service. We have to allow multi-tenancy. The software has to be containerized for simplified deployment. There has to be an English and a German language user interface. And yeah, like what I said, the stability and the quality is prioritized over the features. Yes, thank you.